Hey, welcome back to the channel. And uh, so today we get to go in and we get to work on uh, tearing down and rebuilding the steering column. I know, I know, things are moving pretty fast. Uh, we're already at the steering column and starting to get some of that stuff ready to go in. So uh, I love it. Uh, hopefully it won't be too much longer. We'll start getting that interior put together. Uh, but we're not there yet. Let's get the steering column done, all right? Well, here it is. It's uh, clearly showing its age. And uh, so we're just saying the whole thing needs to be just completely disassembled and uh, put back together, cleaned up, painted, put back together. So uh, Nick out there at Vintage, uh, My Vintage Thunderbird Repair has a great video on putting these back together. Um, nothing on tearing them apart that I saw. So we're going to tear it apart and document that so that that's out there. And then, uh, you know, we'll put it back together. Probably not as detailed as he was because, you know, there's no need. His video's out there. But, yeah, so uh, we're going to start tearing this thing apart. So, Okay, so one of the first things that we need to do to work on this will be to get this uh, piece here off. You can see this is part of your slide mechanism. This is what, you know, comes out and covers that area. So it just, as you slide, these things go back and forth. So we got a broken spring we'll have to get replaced. Uh, anyway, so we're not really sure how this comes off, but we think it's going to be these two bolts, but we really don't know. It's kind of difficult to tell. So let's... See what we got. There you go. All right, that can come off. We'll put these back in so we know where they go. Okay, so now the real fun is, is how do we get this off of here? <laughs> or you can try and pop that off and, and probably lose it. No, no, don't, don't. <laughs> okay, so we got this all apart. And we just had to pop that keeper off of there. And it came right off. You know, all of these were, all of these were joined into there. No big deal. Uh, but we do have springs that are going to have to be replaced on both sides. So anyway, that's that. Okay, so now that we got uh, that mechanism off from uh, down there, we're working now to get the turn signal switch uh, taken out of there. So All right, so it should just be uh, three screws that hold that in. Okay, should be able to pull that out. We're trying to get the uh, turn signal lever off and there's a little flat here if you can see it as you turn. See that flat? And that's what we were used to get it to break loose. So now we can pull that out. Hopefully that will allow us to get the turn signal switch out of there. Okay, so uh, while we're thinking on this side, we know that these things have to come off here. So we're going to go ahead and start stripping those things off real quick. Uh, Pretty self-explanatory. Three bolts there. Neutral safety switch has one on either side. And then this catch right here for the neutral safety switch uh, just has the one. Okay, so we uh, push, push this pin out. And then we were able to... I was able to get this out of there. We'll get a new bushing is already on its way for that. But I think I can get the, uh, at least get this shift tube out. So let me give that a try. Let's see if this, this tube, there we go. All right, so there's the shift tube. Okay, we found a big nut down here. We'll see if that's what's holding this thing all together. 
doesn't look like it's doing anything, but see, I don't know. Okay, here's that hole we were talking about on the underside, and there's just a, uh, a fairly large Phillips screw down in there that we're going to take out, and we'll see if that's the magic trick. All right, so there we go. And we got to get all of our wiring uh, harness loosened up and we need to start pulling our, our plugs apart so we can pull that wire harness with it through here. So we're gonna go ahead and get all this situated so we're ready to pull all this out, okay? All right, everybody, so the harness that was running right here, just like this, had these connectors on the end and they just pull out, Oop, there we go. And they just go in and you can just pull them right out of there. It's, they're, they're in there pretty good, but uh, if you just pull on them, they'll come out. And just hang on to those, you'll need these back again. I took pictures, so I knew exactly what color went, because they're all different shapes. So some are shaped like that. Uh, this one's shaped like that, so they're all different shapes, so I have all the pictures I need to make sure the right color goes back in the right shape and in the right place. So we got that, and now what we're going to try and do is we're going to try to pull all of this, all of this right here, through. So let's, uh, let me set this up and we'll, we'll get that done. All right, let's see if we can't... Get this to come out and this so we've been trying to get this this out and the reason it wouldn't come out is <laughs> is because the wires are holding it back so as you can see now she's just coming right on out I would pull one wire at a time now all right so we're getting we're gonna get clogged up here so we're just gonna pull it to there let's just grab the yellow wire just kind of feed that so it's not... Okay. Now the baby blue wire. There we go. Okay. This green wire. There we go. Alright. A lot easier as you get them out. There we go. There's that one. <coughs> All right, there we go. Your little baby blue one. Oh, that's for the light. That's for the light. <laughs> we'll, we'll put that up there. And then this one. And I think we should be able to pull the rest through now. There we go. All right, yes. we have one neutral or turn signal switch out. I've got a new one coming, so I'll have all new wires to fish through here when we're done, but uh, so I think at this point There's a piece of plastic that goes across here. Uh, yeah, we also pulled There's a uh, Right here, you can't get these and they're very brittle apparently, uh, Nick says on vintage, my Vintage Thunderbird and it hooks See this area right here? Come a little closer. All right, so you can... All right, let me get a little bit. There we go. All right, so you see this end here, and then you got the hole here. And if you look at this, you got a hook right there. And then you got the uh, push-in tab right here. And then this will just simply hook on this end and then push into that hole. To get it out, we had to come from underneath, like Nick says to do on his, and pop. Uh, come on. All right, come on. There we go. And pop that out. He says if this is really brittle, they're old. And if you try to pull it out like that, it'll break it. So just just a heads up. You know, it's, he he talks about it. I figure I talk about it because it's. These are uh, apparently going to be hard to come by. And all this is is a, is, a, is a slide tab for the steering wheel to slide on when you slide it back and forth, or side to side rather. 
we're going to call this a disassembly at this point. We have it for the most part disassembled. Uh, you can see all the different parts. We got the, the horn lever here. We got the uh, shift tube. We got the sliding part of the sliding mechanism over here, the steering wheel. And then we got the uh, steering column, I guess, the rubber boot here, which I haven't ripped off of there yet. Uh, and the metal backing for the for the shift boot or the, the, the boot. Uh, and then we have all kinds of parts in a bag over here ready to cleaned up and ready to go. So there it is. So now the, the fun begins. We're going to start cleaning all this up. And we'll try to detail as much of that as we can uh, without getting it too lengthy. But we'll just, you know, bring you in and out as we, uh, as we start getting some of this stuff done. Okay, so now that we have everything tore apart, we have it all set, separated out, kind of. It's a mess on the table. Um, we are starting the process of cleaning everything up, getting rust off. We'll treat it, get it painted. So we're, we're working through that process. So we've got the shaft cleaned off. We've got the bearing off. And unfortunately, in the process of that, we broke the ring. So I'm hoping I can find that somewhere. Uh, but we kind of have to have that. So I will, uh, I will be doing some looking to see if there's one of those available. Uh, anyway, so we're just going through this whole thing and prepping it uh, for paint, whether it's going to be, uh, you know, a black paint here from the tube just to protect it. Uh, color of the interior will go on there. You know, you know the drill. And then out here, you can see I'm, I'm treating some of these parts that have been uh, sanded already with some rust treatment. Getting them. Got the plate for the rubber boot that goes down at the firewall. All right, so we are all done with prepping everything. We got new parts. We got cleaned up old parts. Got the paint on the uh, column. The shift tube, cleaned it up and painted it. We cleaned up the uh, shaft for the steering wheel to the gearbox. So I think it's time. I think it's time to put all of this together. All right, so we got the shift selector indicator, shifter, I don't know what you call it, Prindle shift indicator, I don't know. Uh, we got that in just the two screws here and then we got the shift indent you know which is what lets you know what gear you're clicking through that can only go one way so pretty self-explanatory although we did discover this one can go the other way so make sure you hold it in the direction it's going to be on the car like that and then you can see that the they all are the way they're supposed to be and they don't look like that anyway there you go we got that done let's move on to the next thing all right, we flip this over from this side to this side, and there's a light that screws in right here. And so what we're going to try and do now is we're going to try and test that light. See, we can't make sure that we got a good, good wire, good light, all that good stuff. Okay, so you can see we got the light pulled out. So here we go. I'll touch it to the battery, and there we go. Got a good light. Okay, so now we're going to put this rubber seal, as you can see right here, uh, that goes in. It's like a bushing that centers up your shift tube. And so what we're doing right now is just spreading uh, some lithium grease on it. We're going to get the inside of here, all around that, just lube it up really good. Yeah, that flat side goes, that flat side of it goes facing out that way. And then you want to shove these two pieces in until they lock into this spot right here. Oh, look at the mess you're making on my shaft. <laughs> you gotta lift up on that shaft a little bit. And... I... Oh, it'll wipe off. Yeah, just work it around. 
Keep working it. There you go. Now slide it in there until it locks in. Okay, now push it down in there. Get you a screwdriver. There you go. You can see it's just going around it and pushing it in. All right, so that one side got locked in, but that did not. There it goes. Now I'll get the nut. I think you still got the other side. It's hard to tell, everything's black. Okay, and then if you can look right there, you can see that both those tabs are down and locked in there. And this, that is complete. So we got that bushing in there nice and it worked out really good. All right, so there's a, there's a few things that need to be put on here. Uh, this is to, uh, for your slide mechanism. This one here is for your neutral safety switch. So we're going to go ahead and get all that. We're a plastic tube or plastic slide piece that goes here. So we're going to get all this area built up now. Okay, so you can see here we got our mechanism for the swing away on the, on the column. And then we got our lever to activate the neutral safety switch on. And I'm going to kill a yellow fly here in a second. If I can get him. Because <laughs> he gets, keeps getting me. Stop. Stop. <laughs> oh, just, uh. Okay. I don't know where the yellow fly went. Now I can't find him. Anyway, so we got all this on. This is the uh, plastic piece that locks onto this area right here and snaps into this hole here. Hold up. There, now. You see how it hooked in there? Now you got to line it up, and there you go. It snaps, snaps right in there. Now it's, now it's on there. The next thing we want to do is we're going to want to get the shift cone in. And before that goes in, we slid this, it's called a centering washer. And that just slides in here. It's, you got a couple of key ways you got to worry about to slide it on initially and get past this here. This keyway right there has to be lined up with that. But then once you get it past that, it can spin. And then you can see the orientation it's in right now. And you see right there how it, those, that opening lines up with this, uh, the tube where the wires go through. All right, so just kind of give you a orientation. It took us a little bit to figure this out, but that's, that's how that went. The book has it, but it just, I mean, I don't know, maybe the orientation they show in the drawing is correct, but it doesn't really say anything. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. So we're going to go ahead and slide this cone on now. And you can see how that goes. You're going to want to line it up to where the, uh, if you know where the, that screw that goes in right here. And if you look in there, you can see where it screws into. So we got to, we got to get all that lined back, lined up. And it's not. So this has to go on, I think, a little further. There you go. Okay, then you can look and you can see that that's all lining up in there. And now what we'll do is we'll run and put that screw in and hold all this together. Okay, attempt two, the first time it fell in there, but you can see you're going the wrong way. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go, we got it started, it looks like. Okay. Now you can see the screw down in there, and that's now holding everything together. All right, so we're in the shift hub here, and we already showed you this side. We got that pretty well complete, but on this side, we've got the uh, turn signal switch in. We went ahead and got the light secured, and it's just these three screws and this plate right there. That goes on, and you just line this up here. There's a dowel pin or whatever that comes through right there and goes up through in that little hole. And then that's where you will screw in your selector switch. That We're going to get all these wires snaked through here, just like we did with the, uh, the wire for the uh, light. So that's going to be the next thing. 
it's hard to see in here but right in there where my thumb is you see a little dark spot right above my thumb that's like a tube that goes inside of here and that's where we'll be fishing the wires and you can see it coming out the other side so we're gonna go ahead and get all those fish through and then we'll bring you back in okay so you can see they're all going into the big dark hole back there and coming out into the light like that and the next thing we're going to do is we need to put this old the sheathing back on uh it'll go just like that and that'll slide up in there and then that'll be that so we're going to do that next nothing fancy about it they just send a couple through at a time until you get them all through there and then we'll uh then we'll go ahead and strap or secure it down there's three clamps that clamp it along the sides here and we'll go ahead and clamp it down you can see it's a bit of a struggle two steps forward one step back garage hits again all right so if you can see my thumb is pointing to the bearing right around here that bearing while well, we put the switch in although you know this the switch we didn't put the bearing in Okay, so that bearing needs to go in and then there's a rubber seal similar to this this is the one I pulled out of there that the bearing goes inside of this you see the groove down in there you set the bearing inside of there and then this whole thing slides in there and then you put the switch on all right so that's how that goes and uh, we just left that out so we corrected it and now we're gonna finish sliding this back on so we can get this this whole end buttoned up all right well guys here we go again we make the mistakes so you don't have to okay so there are these t-bolts that go on and if you look up in here these will go if i can make it happen they're gonna go show you they're gonna hook in in there okay and there's one on either side there's one on either side right here and here but in order to get those in there we go you've got to put put it in you see it right there above my thumb and you just put that nut on one turn just enough so as you can see here and hanging there and you've got enough gap where you can slide that into the groove uh in the housing right into here so here's what we did that you know hopefully we're gonna we're gonna help you not make the same mistake but we put this side in right there and then realize we can't get to this side so we have to do this whole thing with these t-bolts before we put the neutral safety switch in so i'm gonna pull the neutral safety switch out again i'm oh, sorry turn signal switch we're gonna pull that back out again and uh and then put those in get this thing secured to the housing here and then we'll put the neutral safety switch back in ah there's an order to everything and we missed it I even watched the video uh, from Nick at uh, Vintage Thunderbird, so, and I still missed it. Ah, all right, let me do it. Okay, there we go. You can see we got this one and this one are in, and now that's the whole thing here is secured. Now we can put the neutral safety switch back in and, and the bearing. So we got to get the bearing in first then the neutral safety switch and then we'll be back to where we start I'm sorry turn signal switch why do I keep calling that a neutral safety ah. I'm getting frustrated that's why I've taken this thing apart too many times <laughs> all right let's get it back together the turn signal switch right here see turn signal switch well guys we did it <laughs> we think this was the last time that we had to put the uh, turn signal switch see I got that right uh, yeah 
so uh, the bearing keeper which is the metal ring right here that's all screwed down that's holds down the turn signal switch then we got our spring in here you can see that and then we got our c-clip uh, in the groove and holding that on our lights in and installed and our wires are fed out the other side and I'm calling that a win all day I'm calling that a win let me tell you something I mean we watch videos we did all kinds of stuff to try and prepare ourselves for this and we still made a ton of mistakes and it was still hard some of these things are just a pain in the butt to do they're hard to get to getting those little you know T bolts on was uh, kind of a pain uh, on and on so uh, you know if you don't know how to do this and you don't do it on a regular basis just understand that it's, it's going to be challenging you can you can do it There's, you know I did it and you know I don't consider myself the brightest crayon but uh, you know I got it done it you know it was a lot of forward and backwards you know to put on take off put on take off but in the end we got it all right so we're going to transition down here we're going to start working on getting that um electrical uh tightened up get our connectors back on down there get it bolted and secured to the column okay so here's what we're going to try we're going to keep these two arms here this shift one uh and then the the linkage one here we're going to try and keep them as close together as we can and then we need to try and stretch this around the white one. So I'm going to hook on the black shift link lever, and then I'm going to try and stretch it around this white one. Getting there. <sighs> oh, all right, I don't know if you guys are picking it up or not, but all I gotta do is get around the shaft here now, and it looks like looks like we may have got it. Okay, so you can see we had to get it around all of this. I took it over to the heat gun and I heated up the uh, rubber just to try to get it a little bit more flexible and stretchy. And that seemed to help and never tore it or anything. So, yay. Got it on there without having to tear it all apart again. Oh, yeah. All right, so don't do it the way I do it. Do it the right way, all right? Well, guys, I think this is going to wrap up the column. As you can see, we've got it all together. Uh, everything's in. we got our harness all run. Our connectors are all back on. So everything is ready to go to go back in the car, uh, as you can see. So, you, you, you know, that wasn't fun. Just remember... You guys put this on before you put your uh, shift tube in or you'll be fighting it like I did. Otherwise, anyways, it's all good. Uh, so there it is, though. It looks good. Came out really good. So we're uh, we're ready to put it in and get a steering wheel on it. So I guess next up uh, we need to refurbish that steering wheel so we can get it uh, ready to go on as well all right guys i appreciate you guys watching it's been a lot of fun the steering column was you know it came out great so there's a lot of satisfaction there but 
it was really a pain in the butt going together, you know, put it together, take it apart, put it together, take it apart. Over and over, it just seemed like on this project, but sometimes it's just the way it goes. <laughs> I will see you guys on the next one, and I appreciate you guys watching. Till then, I'll see you, and you guys get out on your projects, all right? There's no excuse. Get out there and work on them, all right? <laughs>